Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial today I'll be teaching you about the Puppet Warp tool and what you can actually use it for. Now the Puppet Warp tool is very easy and simple to use. Now it's used for um, basically changing how people are in a picture. So if someone else's arm is uh, like this way here, then we can actually change it and uh, bend it to what we actually want it to do. So first things first is you want to um, rip the item or object that you're going to be playing with out of the picture which I have done so here she is here now this is just a rough uh, selection now if you don't know how to select things out of pictures you can refer back to my other tutorials on how to select things now that one's just on a new layer uh, with nothing around it and this one here we've got the original image with her still in the actual image so we need to get her out of the actual image so we're going to hold down control on our keyboard and we're going to hit the um, the top layer so it makes a selection all the way around her and then we're going to go and select the bottom layer which she's actually in and we're going to go to select we're going to go to modify and we'll go to expand and we're going to expand it by 20 pixels because we're going to use content um, aware so click OK and it expands it just around her by 20 pixels and then we're going to go and uh, right click if you have the quick selection tool already selected and we're going to go to fill if not you can go to uh, edit and fill and you'll get this box that comes up and you want to make sure that you've got content aware is in the use and then click OK and just give it a moment depending on how fast your computer renders the actual image and finds out so it might take a little while hopefully it won't take that long now that it's done that we can hide that and control and D to deselect and you can see it's roughly done a good job you might need to chuck uh, touch it up in your pictures so obviously you'll see um, this here with the outline so we're going to go and touch that up so let's bring that back and we're going to go over here and use the clone tool and alt to find out where we want to clone from and we're just going to hide those parts just there that should be okay and then we're going to go and bring that layer back again and there she is and we want to make sure that we've got that layer selected the top layer and then we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to puppet warp tool now when you first open puppet warp tool it'll show up like this the mask over the top with all the points and we're just going to hide that because we don't actually need it um, if you was going to play with the options up the top, you could play around with density. So fewer points, as you see, it's fewer points, and you can go really crazy and go more points, and that's a bit too crazy for what we want. So we're just going to play around with normal uh, mode. Just set that to normal as well, because we're not going to play around with them. The expansion, you can play around with that uh, depending on how far you're going to take the image like, off the actual main image which we're not going to do so we're going to keep that with two pixels and we're going to hide the mesh and the other options I'll come to in a minute so first things first is we're going to go and pinpoint where we want the points to be so if you're on a person you want to go for the main actual uh, legs and ankles and stuff like that so we're just going to point there and her shoulders wrists and there we go and now to play around with them you just hover over one and you can bend it to what you want so we can just bend the legs into shape like that now I'm just going to do this very quick because you're going to have a lot more time to play around with this than I am so you can do stuff like that or you can bend her arms like that or even you can just just go outside or if you don't want a point that you uh, put on there you can hold down alt and you'll see this little scissor icon and you can just take that point away as simple as now 
we can just bend our arm down like that and you might want to play around obviously you'll find you can really make some funny pictures with these things but if you're on a more serious note you want to play around with it until it looks right so just around there not being too serious with it um, you can also um, swivel this so if you click on it and you'll find a little uh, bar that goes around the corner and you can just turn it so a bit like the free transform tool really so once you've done that you can click the tick icon at the top once you've started playing around with it but to show you um, the pin depth points and stuff like that so say we want this to go over here now this is on top of her now if we want it the other way we've got over here up to pin depth so we can change that so it's behind her so you've got one that goes uh, above her so it's basically changing the layers so it can be on the other side of her but you can really play around with that so if you have like I don't know an animal that you want to play around with you can um, make them do some silly things uh, which many people have so if you haven't discovered this tool already I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please don't let me stop you on you know doing your creative bits um, with your own pictures so expand on this idea and I'll see you next time in another tutorial guys